Lawyers for a Wake County teacher accused of abusing children with special needs asked the court for more time today. James Rencher is now due in court in October. That's when a trial date could be set. Rencher faces 12 counts of assaulting students with disabilities at East Wake High School in 2022. Law enforcement only began investigating the alleged abuse after concerned parents frustrated with lack of transparency from the Wake County School District came to WRAL's Keely Arthur. Today she has new documents showing school leaders were aware of the allegations of abuse for more than a year before they were thoroughly investigated. Inside an East Wake High classroom were some of our community's most vulnerable, non-speaking students, Justin Hephill <laughs> and Christian King. Hi. At school, educators were their protectors, and according to emails and letters recently leaked only to WREL, within weeks of the 2022 fall semester, three educators reported teacher James Rencher had yelled, pushed, and shoved students in his classroom. These reports went virtually unaddressed for 19 months. The ball was dropped somewhere. Wake County Schools Superintendent Dr. Robert Taylor. Are you investigating the way in which this was handled? Uh, I want to say to every parent and every person that's listening that our number one duty is to make sure that our students are safe, uh, that we have the proper procedures in place. Procedures which include state law requiring school principals to report assaults on school grounds. Is it up to a principal to decide whether or not they report abuse to law enforcement? I mean, it's mandatory reporting. It's not optional reporting. Let's go back to October 17th, 2022. That's when a teacher here at East Wake emailed Principal Stacy Alston saying, quote, I saw James Rencher kick an exercise ball from under Justin. Justin fell to the floor. I want to bring this to your attention. I know teachers are mandated reporters. Five minutes later, Principal Alston emailed back saying, quote, thanks for letting us know. But parents and law enforcement confirmed to me they were never notified. I wanted to know why, so we paid Principal Alston a visit. No answer. Same story for the four emails we sent him asking if he investigated the situation and if he did, what he found that invalidated the claims. This spring, a letter signed by a district administrator and copied to Principal Alston told Justin's mother the allegations were investigated and addressed, adding that Rancher went to a different school in the district. You heard that right. James Rancher moved to a middle school in Fuquay, Verena, where he continued to teach for more than a year. But after WREL reported on anonymous letters the parents received alleging abuse and the lack of criminal investigation, the Wake County Sheriff's Office got involved and arrested James Rencher with 12 counts of assault. What's Stacey Austin's employment status with the district? Uh, again, a specific employee can't really talk about. I. With all due respect, you're really not saying much. The ball was dropped. We have records showing that. What can you tell families right now? What I can tell you, uh, delays and tremendous delays, uh, that's, that's really not acceptable. I personally think you should be fired. You're saying that to the principal? Yes, the principal, should, in my opinion, should be let go. He needs to resign or do something else out of the school system. You are not a leader of a school, by no means. And we do want to mention that Dr. Robert Taylor didn't become the superintendent of the school district until a year after those abuse allegations occurred. I talked to James Rencher before his arrest. He and his lawyer deny all allegations. We checked on Principal Alston's employment status. As of last check, it is active. And you can watch my full interview with the superintendent right now on our website or our YouTube channel.